COVID-19 changed so many different things about how we operated at work. And I'm so proud that at my facility, not a single client tested positive for COVID-19. And let me tell you, that was not an easy task. I had to stagger the schedule, change the programming around. I had to fuss, pray, and cuss. <laughs> Put your mask on. You know, I think that we did such a great job at protecting our clients initially that they didn't really see the severity of the pandemic because we had them safe at our program, you know. And the clients, you know, we get tested weekly, tested. Is, am I saying that right? We get a COVID-19 test weekly, the staff does. And the clients say to me all the time, oh, Dr. Lewis, you know, I know you don't have COVID-19 because, you know, we all get a test every week. And I was like, you don't know where I've been when I leave about this door. Protect my life. You're going to wear a mask, okay? You know, and just trying to dispel myths when they come up. You know, like some people who are in my positions feel as though, oh, you just tell the clients to do A, B, and C, and they have to do that. No, I think sometimes you have to give explanations and let them process their feelings, and you still have to treat them like human beings. I always said, there for the grace of God, there go I, you know? There are a few things that I want people to know about me. I probably won't get to all of them, <laughs> so, but one, when I applied to the MSW Intensive Weekend Program, let me see, that was in 2011, it was 2011, um, while I was waiting to hear back from the Intensive Weekend Program, my mother passed away unexpectedly, and I had came back to work. And I say, it might have been my first day back at work after my mother's funeral. And um, I got an email being asked to come in to interview for the program. And I almost declined. I was like, I can't go back to school now. My mom's just passed away. And I remember it saying, well, when is it going to be a good time for me to go back to school? You know, I've been putting this off and I've been putting this off and now I have an interview. And I was like, I'm going to interview and if I get in, I'm just going to do the best I can. And people were coming at me left and right like, oh, how are you going to pay for it? Oh, it's going to cost too much money. Oh, this, this, this and that. You know, those same people, those same naysayers, those same people who discourage me are now saying, Oh, I'm so proud of you. You got your doctorate. I could not have gotten my doctorate if I didn't start with the MSW program. You have to take a step forward. And no matter what you're going to do in life, life is always going to show up. And I'm not going to tell you that you can do this program because I did this program. I'm telling you you can do this program because you can do this program. You get you some people who believe in you. You get them in your corner. You let them know there's going to be days where you just can't hang out. And you do the work. And there is a friend of mine, Roscoe Orman, who told me one day in a rehearsal that we was doing that you have to do the work off stage. So it doesn't look like you're doing work on stage. And that is true with the social work profession as well. You know, I got this intersectionality thing going on with theater and social work that I love to death. But you have to do the research. You have to be grounded in theory. You have to know about transference and counter-transference. You have to know these things in order to do the social work work. So if you're not prepared, you're not going to know how to deal with the client. If you don't address issues that you have going on, you're going to bring those issues to work. And I always say, <laughs> you know, the program is as good as the staff. And sorry staff make sorry clients and sorry clients come back to prison. I don't want anybody coming back to prison. You know, I want to do whatever I can to make sure that we're giving all of the people that are incarcerated all they need so they don't have to come back to prison. 
And with that being said and done, if you get the chance, check out my website, hclpoet.com.